the end of your freshman season, Trey, you're 6'2", and you've got some skills, and fast forward a year later, and you're 6'8", and all of a sudden commanding the paint shots you up from being a guard to a forward in just a year. Back, back in freshman year, I, I didn't really take the sport seriously. I was still playing football. I was, I, I always thought that I was going to be a football player, and then I realized that end of my freshman year, we played a game at Nogales, and I realized then that I wanted to be a basketball player, so in the offseason, I just I worked, and I worked almost 24-7. Uh, His work ethic and the, what he does for the team on the floor is not even remotely what he does for the team as a leader, and he's grown not just as a player, but as a leader and an example for those guys. And so we're basically expecting them to go get hungry like Trey was and come back. Maybe not grow to 6'8", but to bring that mentality that he brings to the game because there's a lot of 6'8 guys that can't do the things that he does on the court. Part of who you are is a shot-blocking machine. You have over 100 on the year. You're, you're averaging close to triple doubles because of the block shots. I love blocking shots. It gets me real, real amped, real excited. I, I love it. Towards the end of the year, he started to become Bill Russell for us. He was actually blocking shots, keeping them in play, pulling them down, basically turning a block shot into a steal, which is incredible. Now, you got to, to take in an ASU game, Bobby Hurley taking over as head coach. Kind of your first college, like unofficial visit experience. What was that like? That was great. I watched every single player individually. I was, I, I love that so much. I love watching college basketball more than NBA. My first ASU game, that was exhilarating. I, I loved the fans, I loved the players. This is great.